Hello, my name is Chandrasekhar. I'm a professor of pharmacy at <clears throat> the University of Finlay. During the last two weeks, I got almost four requests from high school students graduating from India whether PharmD is right for them. Remember, nobody can tell you what course is right for you especially a person who doesn't know you at all. What one can tell you is what course has a market and whatever the job opportunities one may have after finishing this course. But if you do not have an aptitude for that career, you can be maximum a mediocre performer and so the opportunities may not be what it seems to you. Uh, or what is ideally available. <clears throat> so here is a short video, hopefully it will help you. Naturally, I am assuming and I am correct, most of the students who are calling me with this question are from India. And many of the students have just completed their higher secondary education. Remember, if you already done a B-form degree, you will like to watch my another video. But, and if you have done your pharmacy, that means you are already familiar with what PharmD has to do. But if you have just completed, <coughs> completed your high school, you probably have no idea of what pharmacy is. WHO stands for World Health Organization. And it prescribes what are the functions of a pharmacist. He will maintain the patient medication records. He will dispense drugs with ancillary labels, that is, what type of side effects the drug will have, how to take it and all those things. He will do the patient counseling and treating the patients for their minor ailments. And finally, provide drug information on therapeutic consultation on rational prescribing to the general practitioners. So these are the jobs, these are the activities which a pharmacist is supposed to perform according to World Health Organization. So if you consider yourself a pharmacist, you should be doing this. But does anybody in India do this? No. No, rarely a pharmacist in India, especially that sitting in a medicine shop, has any record of the patients who are coming to him. He's not following any of those things. Basically, he is dispensing a drug. He is a sales clerk. He is not a pharmacist. And in a country where a diploma in pharmacy is the minimum requirement, and many of the pharmacists who are, at least those who are giving out the drugs, do not even have the diploma in pharmacy. It's very difficult to take it seriously that a yeah, pharmacist with six years degree will have the recognition you require because in the society there is at this point no recognition of a pharmacist as an healthcare professional and to make the situation very complicated in order to become a registered pharmacist in India you can have any one of those three things you can have a diploma in pharmacy, which is a two-year course, a B-Form, which is a four-year course, and a Form D, which is a six-year course. Tell me why a business will hire a six-year Form D when a two-year Form D form itself meets the legal requirement of being a pharmacist. Naturally, you are going to pay the six-year Form D a much higher salary than a D Form. And remember, every business is trying to always cut cost, trying to make sure it meets the real legal requirement. It is really not looking out for the patient all the time. And the sad part is, many colleges which are giving out the Form D degrees do not have or hire the clinical pharmacists in the hospitals where they are being trained. It's a really sad situation. So you think the Form Ds are required. You train the Form D. But you will not yourself hire a Form D 
to perform the clinical function which you say is important for the patient care. So, in the current scenario in India, do India need FOMD? Yes, absolutely yes. Do doctors value FOMD services in India at this point? There is very limited. There are few places where doctors have started appreciating FOMD services. Do FOMD get employment? Yes, but not for what they are trained to do. You can do pharmacovigilance. You need not need a FOMD. Maybe being a FOMD has a little advantage. And if you spend about 15 lakhs for your education as a FOMD, and if your starting salary is 20 to 25,000, you are never going to break even. It will take you at least 10 to 15 years just to recuperate what you have paid in the fees. Can Indian FOMD practice in US? This is my questions which you very often get. Technically, it's possible, but the simplest answer will be no, not without jumping through several hurdles. Again, see my other videos of what you need to do if you have a FOMD from India and want to practice in US. Again, uh, my name is Chandrasekhar. If you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel.